know all the stars on the dang I gotta let's see what we got here don't mind it That was my MacBook. Oh, look, I got 37%. Purr. Hey. Guys, look. So I got curly parts up here. I'm probably going to have to trim it. <laughs> like, she's straight. It's not supposed to be straight. Wait, I have a little, I have a little, what's it called? Let's see if this works. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. It didn't work. You know, today's feelings are giving very much. Wish I had somebody to watch Studio Ghibli movies with. My iTunes not working. Crazy. Crazy. Oh look. No. No. Whatever. Anyways. Not lonely, Maddie. Honestly, good play on words though. What should I listen to? Like, hmm. Look up a chill playlist. See what pops up on it. Mom and Dad don't want to give. <laughs> Y'all. Hey. Where's, where the twins at? <laughs> where, the, where the twins? Let's see what it is. Um, that wasn't giving. Guys, give me a song. Who should I listen to? What have I been listening to recently? Oh, okay. Anyways, y'all. So who's... Who is excited for the best dates or... I'm not going to play the album. Don't even do me like that. But just keep streaming it, y'all. I really had to sit here and be like, what song? Okay, let's just do let's just do Doja. Let's just do Doja. Do that, do that, baby oh not long. Anyways, so let's not have this playing too loud before I get Oh my god. Anyways, so yeah. Who's excited for the Bestie Tour? Can I see you? Say me if you're coming to NY.
Oh, Gabby. Don't come on my live. Like, I called you last night. I need, I need a tease, What's up? I wish I could go. Um, sorry, boo. Where do you buy these earrings? What earrings? Well, this is from Julia. A, a jewelry. I bought these, like, to, these are like professional like name earrings i got this from claire's and so did this one this one come from claire's um but yeah if you want this ah look she's in the chat right now if you want this earring this is from jewelry uh, this is like literally the earring that i'm always wearing and who's excited for paris like i gotta say this right now like October, we're in the month of October, and it does not feel like October. Like, first of all, let's just talk about this real quick. I have a Halloween costume that I bought, and I still haven't gotten the confirmation that it's been shipped out, and I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous, y'all. But anyways, what are we going to talk about? Like, I, I plan on talking about my plants, because I know I said I'm going to talk about plants. Um, but... Let's just talk about let's talk about a little bit of Squid Games. I watched Squid Games with Amaya because you know I'm always watching stuff with Amaya. Squid Games was very much good, very much giving. I want to watch it again, but like I haven't had the time to watch it again. Um, we tried watching Alice in Borderline, but she didn't like it, so that was a flop. And now we want to watch Sweet Home because I I think we saw somewhere that there's like a big three, and that was like Alice in Borderline, or is it Borderland? I don't Mm, mm, mm. Then it was Squid Game, and then it was Sweet Home, and oh my God, Catherine! Um, guys, go check it. She made a song for the Squid Game. It was fire. You know, she's always fire. <laughs> she's fire. But y'all go check that out on her on her TikTok, or um, just like press her little um, her Instagram. Um, actually, the her her um song top of the top of the class or something what is it called um he's a top i think it's top of the school that popped up on my i was like i had my playlist on shuffle yeah top of my school and that popped up <laughs> that popped up eee! it was fire i was like yes yeah, come through vocals but anyways um yeah squid game was good squid game was very much good um what are we trying to watch now? There's this thing on Netflix called My Name. Brooke! I don't watch Outer Banks. I might as well watch Outer Banks, but I cannot see myself watching that. I'm not I'm not really a live person kind of show. And if there is a live person kind of show, it is definitely kind of like a squid game, a borderline kind of show that I like to watch. I like action. Um, I just don't see that being kind of like my cup of tea but shout out to anybody who's watched it um yeah but squid game was really good um i personally like shows like that a lot i know sometimes um, i didn't like the show because it was like a little too quirky but like for the most part it was really good <sighs> i would really like if um it came out with a second season because it was just really good am i a bts fan i like i used to love bts before like it became like they really became popular i've watched glee here and there but like i'm not really like a sit down and watch glee because i know it has like mad um seasons but for the most part like um have i ever watched the phantom no i never heard of that one um i didn't watch the new season of all my vlog i kind of like got lost like in the third season um but you know it was good I remember when it was like mad, it was blowing up in my like my freshman year of high school, and I remember everybody was watching it on the bus. My sisters watched The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Oh, they've been watching Sweet Tooth, and I've been watching that a little bit with them. He is so adorable. Five Seconds of Summer. Ah, I don't really listen to him too much. Um, like Miraculous Ladybug. Yes, I haven't watched the new season though yet. I have watched Stranger Things. That's like a family show that we watch together. Um, oh, American, ever heard of that? Do I like Harry Styles? Shh. 
sure. I mean, I don't not like him. His music is good. Obi! The Umbrella Academy. I've watched that. I didn't really watch the the recent season that had came out. Like, I watched a little bit, but, like, I, I remember I was watching a lot of anime at the time, so I just, like, could not sit down and watch it because I just wanted to watch my anime. But right now, for anime, I'm trying to watch Fruits Basket. I'm trying to finish Fire Force. Um, I want to finish Dr. Stone. Um, I have a lot of animes on my list. Like, I just need to find somebody to watch them with. Like, I don't really have, like, an anime buddy. I need to find one. Anyways, nah, but my name is gonna be Fire when it comes out. Yeah, I'm really excited for that to come out. Tokyo Avengers, my friends have watched that. I wanna watch that as well. Shout out Netflix and their shows. Fruit Basket, like, I'm not really a romance kind of girl. It's definitely one of those shows that I'm finding myself enjoying it more because of my input, like, of my own commentary. Um, but I feel like. I feel like sometimes the tea is good, but other times I'm just like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just, I don't really like romance like that. Um, I haven't watched JoJo, um, from what I've heard, I think my god brother Evan has watched it, but I don't think they were a big fan of it. Ooh. What have I watched? Oh, we, me and Evan have watched Beastars together. I haven't watched the second season of that, but Beastars was fire. New Girl, no. Hairspray, I mean, I feel like everybody's watched that. I've definitely watched that. Luca was good. I watched that with um, Amaya. Ooh. Excuse me. I've watched Sam and Cat. Why is this playing in my face right now? Now, I'm only doing this because I'm very impatient. And it was literally the other day that I set this up. And I'm going to show you right now. But, like, I've been doing a lot of cleaning. And I finally got, like, my plant situation together because it's getting cold. Like, I used to keep them in my music room, but it's getting cold out here. And when it gets cold, um, basically, the cold room gets cold. And I don't want to have my plants in there, obviously. And then they die because they're cold. So I brought them up here put my glasses on so I can see you guys you can't really see them but let me show you like these are all of them I've definitely collected a lot since my first couple of plants um I'm gonna talk a little bit about my process and like I'm gonna be honest with you guys I've I've had a couple of losses here and there um but for the most part my plants are happy my plants are flourishing um I know that they're living their good lives because a lot of the plants that I have gotten have gotten much better since I've gotten them. So, <laughs> so let me show you these first two right here, cause these are some these are my big boys. I think this is called like a monstera. This is big. I mean, this is new growth right here, new growth right here. Got a new leaf right here coming in. And this is my cute little snake plant, and I love my snake plant. Um, and then I'll come back. Now I'll come back over here. Now, the thing that I've been doing recently is I've been trying to add new plants to my collection. Um, I have a lot of personal favorite plants, and you're going to tell because a lot of the plants that I have are pretty much the same. So, first, let's start with the prayer plants. Um, it wasn't until recently that I got this prayer plant. This is the one that I got when I was in New York. Um, I got this plant, got this plant, and I got... I can't remember the name of this plant. I know it's called, it's, it's definitely called a, pepper, a peperomia, but I think it's like a baby something. But so this is, these are the three plants that I got when I was in New York. Um, but it was really just the prayer plant and the money tree that I literally wanted for the longest. I remember the first time I got my plants, those were, I had a list of the plants that I was looking for and it was this one. 
and this one and a golden pulsos um now i'm not sure if i ever talked to you guys about my i had a plant named milo and he was like a dumb cane plant and i recently actually found out his name the name of the plant is called dumb cane and he actually died <laughs> and i was sad but um oh my one ching 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 does that money cheek she wanted to sing that for her so i love you but yeah so this is a little this is a little baby little guy um there's some new growth coming in right here um nothing too crazy i mean like for the most part it had a little bit of sunburn um i couldn't do anything about that like that's how i bought it but i mean like when you look at the new leaves like she's thriving this is my baby um my money tree is growing for the most part i definitely feel like it is growing it's leaves look at that look how big that is um and this is my my mama um money um prayer plant and she got a lot of growth going for her too one one leaf two leaf that's another leaf um but she's just living i mean like she's a little beat up i got her at home depot i mean like you can see like look at this leaf but i mean for the most part she looks good you know i treat my plants nice and especially now with their new little location i definitely feel like they're gonna be much happier up here with me because who doesn't like waking up just seeing a bunch of plants shining in the sun you know um trying to think about how i want to go about this so i've been trying to add like different plants to my i don't know i want to call it a garden my tropical forest and so i cannot see the name of this plant for the life of me on my before i started the live i had a maya try and like help me pronounce it i think her name was kathina uh, kalina kalitha maybe that but she's cute. Like, she has, like, cute little pink leaves. You know, she's different. She stands out from the rest. Um, there's color at the bottom of her. She's, like, a, a deep, like, a, I would say, like, a, a beetroot purple, maybe. Um, so that's that one. Now, this is my this is my first golden postal plant. And I've done a lot of work on this plant. You're going to see a lot of yellows in the back. And for this, I'm going to tell you why. So, when you look at the front of this plant, this is all, all the stuff halfway from all this is just its own self. You know, she's growing, she's hanging over. But I was, she was really like bare in the back and I really just wanted to make it look full. So I had got another Golden Postos, like they sell them like individually. My mom actually has one downstairs, but I, I got it individual and I just really like, like, I guess I repotted them behind in the back. And so a lot of the green, a lot of the yellows and stuff is just because a lot of those leaves were already not looking too good. Um, so I'm hoping that, like, I really don't want to, obviously, like, I would have to take these out. Like, all the little dead ones. But for the most part, like, I'm really happy with how she looks. Like, I call them, I call them my golden girl because she is just, she's living her life. Um... She deserves all good stuff. But I'm hoping that since they're much, they're upstairs and they're closer to my crystals, that they flourish even more. So I'm hope I'm, I'm hoping for the best. But I do have to mention though that most of my plants have amethyst and rose quartz in them. Um, amethyst is really good for like, I think what is it? What was it really good for? I think I have my book somewhere. Hold on. Hold on. It's really important. Um, so amethyst and rose quartz add healing energies to sick plants. So basically what, the reason why I got into crystals for my plants was because I had Milo and Milo was dying. And this is honestly, that's the biggest thing that I've learned is that a lot of plants, I moved into a bigger pot because I figured that if I moved him into a bigger pot, then he would be much better in a bigger pot and that he would grow bigger and i just think that it was really hard to manage him because of how big the pot was compared to how small he was at the time he wasn't too small but like i'm so sad i miss milo so much but um yeah so i had gotten to 
I had this crystal for him actually. This little heart amethyst. And um, I tried giving him that to see if he would work. She's so annoying. Amaya always be texting me during my lives. Anyways, so um, I tried to, um, yeah, like I said, I tried to add amethyst to make him feel better. I tried switching the water that I gave him. I brought him up here. I used to have my crystal little altar over here. And I put him there, and I thought that wasn't making. But it didn't work. It didn't work, and that was fine. Like, you learn, and I'm hoping I can get a new Milo soon. I've been looking for one, but I haven't been able to find one of them yet. Um, but yeah, so I use a lot of um, amethyst and rose quartz. I went to this fair out here, which I got this plant from, which is a story in itself. But I got some more rose quartz and amethyst. So anybody that's into crystals right now, you're going to learn that you're going to need multiple of the same crystal. And amethyst and rose quartz is obviously amazing. Hope with self-love. And I just want my plants to know that like I love them and stuff. And amethyst is just a really good protector from like any sickness that they might be going through. Um, I think I got them from this crystal place called... I think the brand was called like Lux crystals they were really sweet i was just so sad that they didn't have any clear quartz i love clear quartz and i gotta get some um so money trees let me actually tell you guys because when i was getting into my chris um into my plants i wanted plants that like really meant some things um so for the most part money trees are really good for um like wealth and good fortune um so obviously ching 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 goes the money tree um, and this is really good for somebody who is career-driven and wants to start a new business. So, um, this is a good gift for any of your friends. I know we're getting close to the holidays and stuff. Golden pulsos are really good for perseverance and longing. And they're great for people who are trying to follow their dreams and are trying to, like, reach new heights. So, it's basically saying, like, hanging a pulsos is really good to, like, represent you wanting to go to higher places. Um... What else do we got? What else do we got? Prayer plant is really good for devotion and focus. It's good for someone who likes to stay organized and on schedule. Now, something cool about prayer plants that I really wanted one for was because at night, so every night when I used to have them in my music room, I would go downstairs to say hi to them. And the prayer plants leaves go from like this to like that. And so like they're up at night and then throughout the night they drop down again. So they present themselves for the morning. So that's really cute. I really like it a lot. I mean, it's one of my favorite things about coming to see my little my little plants is that they're always just stand up about. Um, these are two succulents. When I first bought these, they there was three of them. Um, it has like this one has like two, um, and then this one has one. And succulents I've learned are very it's kind of hard to deal with like. I think a lot of people think that just because, like, they're succulents, you don't have to worry them that much. But they can be drama queens. Like, I just feel like succulents are kind of drama queens. Like, these have... These are living now. Like, they are good. Like, I've not, I have not had a problem with them. But, like, they have... Their bottom leaf, like, little stems have tried to die so many times. And they just fall off. And I'm like, Why? So, you know, succulents are cute. They're the moment. They're very nice to have around. But, like, they're very difficult at the same time. This is one of my newest plants that I got along with this one, which I'm going to talk about soon. This is called a chicken hen. And I call this Chica, um, of course, from Snap. Um, from, um, FNAF. Um, but, yeah, this is the cutest little succulent I've ever seen. It's like a little, you know, I, just, it looks like a little, I guess it's supposed to look like a little chicken hen. So... Yeah. What else I got? Oh, come on, that would be difficult. Okay, what else do I got? Okay. Oh, this is my big guy. This is George. I think this is George. Yeah, this is George. George is, um, I gotta, I haven't, because of the change in weather, weather I haven't had to water them much because their soil tends to stay moist. Um, but I'll be watering them this Friday. I try to water my plants every Friday. Um, for the most part, they finally have gotten all on the same day. It used to be Wednesday and Friday. Um, certain of my plants I only water with, like, tap. And then others I use water bottles. Um, 
when it comes to watering a few of them, like when I water my money tree, my prayer plants, um, and this pepperoni plant, which I call pepperoni, this is pepperoni, um, I use water bottles. Um, I'll show you guys what I used for their water, um, if that's something that you guys want to know. But this is George. He's just chilling. I mean, he's he was really nice in itself. Um, when I when I go for plants, I like to go for plants that seem to be having a lot of new growth coming in. Um, Cause I just like watching plants grow a lot. Um, he does have a, a few yellow leaves inside of there, but for the most part, like he's fire. I'll leave him here for now, so you guys can just keep seeing him. Or is he gonna be in the way? He's gonna be in the way. I love you, George. Um, if you guys want this um, stand, I got it off of Amazon. It was like literally $35. Not that bad in my opinion. Um, it has like three levels. I want to use the first two because I don't have that many plants. But I put my like gardening tools, I guess, at the bottom. So let's talk about pepperoni plants. So I already told you about my pepperoni but these are two other peperonia plants. So this is a, what is this one called? This is called um, Peperonia Emerald Ripple. And honestly, the leaves are really cute. I love this plant so much. My mom loves this plant too. And I got this one recently, um, which is, I think I call, I think it's called like a Silver Frost Peperonia plant. And this one's really cute. Um, now the, the plant that I'm actually looking for right now is called Peperonia Watermelon Plant. And it, its leaves are much bigger and a little and are very much kind of more rounder, um, but they look like watermelons, and that's why I want one because I have pepperoni and I want watermelon. Like that'd be so cute. Um, but yeah, so I like pepperoni plants. They're cute. Um, my best friend loves this plant and this plant. I'm probably gonna end up getting her one anyways. Um, this is Warren. Like I said, I've been trying to add different kind of like plants and different greens to my garden and this is warren and he's just chilling i feel like he's gotten much fuller since i've bought him um i've only had him for maybe like a couple of days now but he's cute i think this is called a lemon lime work warnick warnick i think um but yeah yeah he's cute i like him um, another plant that was on my list for a while that I finally got the other day, along with my silver frost, is this. This is a Chinese money tree. Um, very cute. I think it's the cutest plant ever. I just love shapes for some reason right now. And I have this little pineapple dish that I put them in. Um, and yeah, it's cute. I like it a lot. Um, my plants make me happy. Um... So, yeah. So, um, so yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much it. When it comes to watering my plants, I use Miracle Grow all purpose plant food. And literally, all you do is like, hold on. All you do is like, take this scooper, you scoop it, you put it in water. You shake it and you water your plants. It's that simple. And I literally cannot like say this more. It's helped my plants so much. And I feel like all my plants are just flourishing and are living their best lives. And I'm happy for them. So I love, I love my plants a lot. Um, look at my money tree plant, guys. I love my money tree plant so much. I like plants. They're like my new squishmallows, basically. <laughs> but I just feel like, you know, plants are living things. I feel like that's why I like them, because, like, they're alive. Let me let me show you guys this thing. So, this is, this is Amaya's nephew. This is Anthony. I love Anthony very much. Um, this is a birthday gift. Um, he's cute my son with his little tail i cut i cut a hole in the little thing but he's cute this is anthony he just chills love him i can't i can't say this enough but i like his outfit so much 
Um, <laughs> so, yeah. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I got this on Amazon. Cost me 35 bucks. Um, I'm hoping to get some... Oh, look, I didn't even show you guys this one. Like, this is my newest succulent. I call her Evie. She's cute. She just chills. I mean, she was... I bought her from CVS, so when I, when I took her home and I had to do the work on her, it was, like, a lot of dead stuff. And I'm hoping that she can get better but for the most part she just chills right here um right next to this big mama and my big selenite log and my amethyst and my clear quartz i love clear quartz love amethyst love rose quartz i mean it's really good to have um but yeah, so I'm hoping I can keep you guys updated. Oh my god, I have so much growth coming in on this plant. Loving it. So yeah, um, but guys, I'm so excited um, actually to do the Bestie Tour because right across the street from the place is actually the plant shop where I got my money tree and my prayer plant and my pepperoni plant. <laughs> my pepperoni. Um, so if you guys haven't bought your tickets yet, go ahead and check that out. I think the link is in my bio. Um, I would really love to see you guys there. I know me and Jada are mad excited. New Yorker things. New Yorker things. Doom. 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 Anyways. Um. Sorry, I can't pay attention. Um, I haven't. I've I've been busy. I haven't been busy, but like I've been, I've been got, I've gotten a lot of squishmallows, guys. Look at this new one I have. I thought, no, I've showed you. I've showed you Malcolm. I've gotten Malcolm. He's cute. I wonder if I can put him anywhere. Mm. He's gonna fall. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should get like a little shelf who knows but yeah i'm hoping to put like a painting here or something um i got a lot of art from when i was out in la that i have to hang up but i haven't been able to i've been doing a lot of cleaning i did a lot of social studies for my school and i gotta finish my spanish espanol i didn't say that right anyway adventure's good we found out that she's a terrier and and a, a eskimo today so she's not an alaskan husky american pit bull i was like who but that makes sense everybody always thought she looked like a terrier so yeah but she's cute yeah so all right y'all well i hope this was very informative um i hope to keep you guys posted as i continue um like i said i'm still learning being a plant mom is fun though but um hope you guys can come back to this and find yourself some plants that you like um i would definitely recommend golden postos for beginners though um they're just the simplest plants really um you really can't mess up with any of these plants here um most of them are really good adapters at um at their environment and how much you water them um but you'll learn your preferred way of watering like i said like for my money tree my prayer plant um and my pepperoni plant i just put water water bottled water with the blue stuff inside their dish and i let them soak it up and then when it comes to like the golden posos and my snake plant and like all the other plants um i just tend to like water them from the top with the blue stuff and like i got this little thing i got this little watering can and the, the stand actually came with these little shovels and stuff. So, you know, it's a lot of good stuff going on. Um, it really just depends on what you like, what kind of plants you're looking for. Um, but yeah, I mean, oh, snake plants are really easy to, to take care of too. I originally got a snake plant because I used to have one in New York when I was younger. My, it was my mom's plant. 
when we went to move, um, my dad by accident threw out the leaves that we were going to use to replant. So I kind of just got one because, you know, I wanted to be reminded of the snake plant that I had. And she's living, um, I don't think she has a name. I think I named her Rose or something because it kind of reminds you of, like, the insides of a rose. But this is what it looks like. Snake plants are chill. I feel like the snake plant is really just, like, the chill front of the group. Um, and it's just sitting right here next to my monstra, monstera plant. So, yeah. I'm hoping to get little succulents to put into these little things. Um, because I just have them sitting right here. That would be cute. I know sometimes they have them in those little dishes, so. Alright, well. Hope to see you guys in New York, if you're going to New York. Um, I think we still have a few tickets. I'm not really sure. But if it's something that you want to check out, um, you still have a lot of time to save up and get some tickets, hopefully. Hopefully. So, love you guys so very much. I'm very excited for you guys to see all the stuff that's to come. Love ya. Mwah. Oh.